Hello everybody and welcome to a short video just to address one little problem that comes with installing The Sims 2 on a Windows 7 or 10 computer. Probably with others as well, not too sure. But I'm going to show you the method that I have learned to fix it and there is probably other ways uh, but this is the way that is the quickest and the easiest in my opinion and don't trust anybody else on like downloading stuff that's just bleh, dodgy. Just uh, this is as simple as it gets. So I'm playing on a Windows 7 computer, and this fix is a file-based thing, so it should be the same on any other computer. Uh, so with the Sims 2 installation, it be a manual or the ultimate collection, you just need to open up a certain file that where it's installed, which I'll pull up mine now. Da -da -da. Uh, so if you've installed the game basically as it is, or if you just installed Origin basically as it is, it'll be in your local disk, which is where your operating system is. And further from that, it'll be in your program files. However, mine is not. Uh, if it was Origins, it should be in a program file, which is there. But mine's manual, so we're going to the manual ones, which I've installed here. And you'll click on the Ultimate Collection, or just Sims 2, whatever it's named. I'm not too sure, I don't have it. Uh, or if you have it manually, it'll be the latest expansion pack, which for mine is Bon Voyage. Then you open up TS Data. Um, yep, Res and Config. And you'll find Graphic Rules. Uh, when you when you try to open this file originally, it might ask you to how to how you want to open it, or you can right click and click Open with. Make sure you open it with a type of Word file, such as Notepad or WordPad. I already had this open. Well, let's go back up here <laughs> uh, and you'll be up to this sort of a lot of information that don't make sense so uh, oh before doing that I just realized make sure you make a backup of this file so copy it and go and paste it somewhere as a backup just in case you accidentally edit something you didn't mean to and it breaks the file pardon me sorry and uh, yeah so you open it up da da I'm using WordPad, and then you'll want to uh, press Control F, or if you have a different file, just a search function, essentially. Uh, I searched that number, but don't worry. I'm going to search, oh, I can't search a number there. Oh, well, I've put screen resolution, maybe. Nope. Uh, resolution. Right. <laughs> I had a method of doing this, and I completely forgot. Well, I'm going to do this way. Nope, search again. There you go. There was, oh, screen mode resolution. Okay, so essentially here, you can search any of these words here, except the numbers, your numbers will be different. Um, and you'll find this part. It's also, if you look at this bottom right here, it's around here. You're looking for this option, screen mode resolution, and the settings for low, medium, medium, high. You probably only need to edit one of these, but I've done all four of them. And you'll edit all the numbers here on the right, all of them to the maximum display of your um, maximum display of your monitor which um, again I know mine as Windows 7 is on da -da, your control panel your appearances display and your screen resolution uh, anyway you'll find out where this resolution of your scale is mine is probably yeah, so it can go higher but that's basically the best default screen you can get so you edit that in here so your maximum width, your maximum height, width, height, width. It does. It is as tedious as it sounds. Um, you're gonna edit all those, and by doing that, you're setting. Uh, you're making sure the game knows you have a larger resolution scale. Now you can save the file. Ba ba. I hope I didn't edit anything and screw that up. You can close it, and you can open the game. You should now have all the options available. Um, I would have opened up my my game to show you, but I derped on that. I forgot. It takes a while. <laughs> but yeah, it will be in the graphics settings and then it should all be back to normal. Um, and a little extra tip, this is just something that I just remembered to add on. If you open up, uh, you have the file on your computer, be it the latest manual install or the uh, ultimate collection, right click, properties, and target, you can add this little minus W here at the end. Uh, yeah, minus W. And that will make it go windowed mode, because right? Sims 2 doesn't have that by default. So I use that to help myself with recording so I can see stuff. But if you want to know how to make it window mode, that's pretty as simple as that. And yeah, that's about it. 
Uh, that I don't know if other computers have different methods, but because this is a file install game, it should always have you know be installed in here in the exact same way. It should be hopefully. <laughs> And I hope this helps those who are struggling to get the game working to the scale you want. I'll be eventually making a guide on how to install the man uh, Sims 2 manually like this and have it properly working. I think it, I don't know if Windows 10 makes it work by default. I know Windows 7 you have to mess around a bit with an update file. Um, I'll be soon moving on to Windows 10 so when, once I've done that I'll, I'll know for sure and I'll make a little guide on how to do it. Otherwise yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a video in the future. Bye 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 bye.